Okay, uh, welcome back. You asked for a longer vlog with the mask, so today we're going to harvest potatoes with the mask. I am growing six times, six kinds of potatoes. Um, I'll be harvesting at least three of them today because the plants have died back. We've had storm after storm roll through, so they're a little wet. We're supposed to wait till they're dry, but at this point they're just going to start rotting, so... Let's get into it. Okay, so what I've done is I've labeled the uh, potatoes so that I know what kind is what. And these four are the same. As you can see, the plants are completely dead. Uh, I grow in containers for a couple reasons. One is that I have very little space and I can uh, move these to wherever I need to. And the second, and probably most important, is that um, they're contained. So there's going to be no potatoes outside of this. I don't have to dig and hope I didn't miss any. So let's see what these ones look like. So they must be a banana finger length. Make sure to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the container that has the name on it. Just so that I know what they are. I bought a variety to see what worked best. And what I liked best. And hopefully, I can buy more of one or two types next year. No more potatoes. So the plant goes in the compost. I'll be putting it in the city compost, not my compost. Potatoes, you can see from right away. That's a good size one. These ones are meant for container gardening, and that's, that's not bad from four little plants. So two ladies were just walking down the path in the park behind my house, and I hear them talking, oh, that's a big mask, oh, that's a big mask, she's wearing it outside, like, what the hell? I can't believe anyone would be that paranoid. Like, this isn't because of the pandemic. This is because of the neighborhood laundry fumes and the smoke that's still in the area has been all summer. And then they veer off the path and they come right to my yard and they're staring at me. One person is like, wow. And I'm like, wow, what? Had they mentioned the mask, I would have explained, but they're like, oh, the garden. The garden's so nice. They tried to cover up that they were coming to look at my mask and stare at me because I'm a freak by saying that my garden was really nice and then when they were walking back to the path they commented on the neighbor's yard just to try to keep the whole ruse up. If you see someone wearing a gas mask, don't just assume they're paranoid. It drives me fucking bonkers. That's why part of the reason I don't spend a lot of time in my yard because I can't down the stairs, you know, I'll just decide the whole, if someone starts laundry, I'll be sick for three days. Anyways, back to potato harvesting. Okay, so, my next kind of potato, I'm not even going to try to say that, I'll just put it on the screen. Um, it's in these nice big containers that I got from Costco years ago. Um, I like to reuse things. The biggest container 
I believe these ones are also for um, container planting, but I don't know. That's a really giant ant that came in off the bottom of this one. Uh, right off the bat, there's a potato there. You know what? I'll put them in the bucket. And you won't lose them. So each bucket got one seed potato. And there's my seed potato. In the compost. So, from one... One potato, I got seven decent sized potatoes and two itty bitty ones. Next bucket. Okay. That's a really good haul off that type of potato. I'm actually excited. I will definitely be buying this kind again. Okay, so I emptied all the dirt from those first eight buckets of potatoes and put it in one of these giant garbage cans because the bed I want to put it in actually has carrots and beets in it. So my next set of potatoes which are lined up right there are not meant for container gardening so we'll see how they do my camera's acting up i don't know if it's just getting too hot out in the sun and just hanging but i tried twice to get that last type of potatoes and it just didn't work uh, but anyways they are called citadel potatoes they are not meant for container gardening but they went in the container anyways and uh I had a whole bunch of them. I got a pretty good harvest. So I think it was like 11 buckets of potatoes to give me this bucket. And maybe this is like an 8 or 9 inch bucket and it's almost full. Not bad. Um, the bigger containers did have more potatoes in them. But they aren't meant for container gardening so I think they did quite well. These ones are meant for container gardening. We only had four plants, they did quite well. Same with these banana fingerlings, meant for container gardening, they did pretty good. Okay, so after harvesting those three types of potatoes, I rearranged. So, my all my potatoes are now down on these stairs, so I've got three kinds left, four of each kind. Um, these bottom two steps are meant for container gardening, that one is not. You can tell the plant is a lot taller. And then the other thing I changed is the bucket of parsnips came from the upper deck down to where I harvested some garlic from. Look at these. They're so beautiful. I can't wait for them to ripen. Purple tomatoes. Anyways, my wheelbarrow and garbage can of dirt is set aside. My celery, small, but doing good. My leeks are small. My carrots and my beets are doing good. Some of those could be harvested. Zucchini. Harvested. See what in here. Oh, a couple of small ones coming in. Blossom that. That one's not going to grow. This will be good for supper. Oh, I'm going to need a container. Yes, my cucumber needs watered. Right, one, three, four. Look at that. We're producing cucumbers. So many things because of shadows. 
That's not bad. The beans are producing. Yeah, I gotta get a bucket. Because my peas are ready as well. And then my cabbage. It's a small head that it's got on it. It's like the size of my hand. I've never grown cabbage before. I'm pretty excited. Russell sprouts grow on the stems. Isn't that cool? My best cabbage is this one over here. And it, well, I can't tell because the shadows are funny, but it's huge. Compared to my hand, anyways. I'm sure that's so small for a cabbage. My tomatoes aren't really ripening yet, but it's still early. And they usually don't get a lot of ripening. I have, however, been getting these yellow ones are ripening. So I've had a few of those. Okay, final harvest for today. A whole bunch of beans. Probably two meals worth for us. Banana finger, then potatoes, two cucumbers, a zucchini, these other container potatoes, some peas. My peas, they're slowing down the first planting, but the second planting's just getting started. And then that bucket right full of other potatoes. I'm going to take all this inside and deal with it. <laughs> 